Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a Sunday edition of Sports Gambling Daily. It is April 21st. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day here with me. Hey, my name is Jared, and basically what I try to do here is post daily sports betting content where I give you my picks, my breakdowns from my systems that I created years ago. Now, if that sounds like something that you are interested in, oh, and what those systems are designed to do is find matchups that we can exploit for maximum profitability. So if that sounds like something you possibly are interested in, consider hitting that red subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and continue to leave comments down in the comment section to let me know who you are betting. I'm totally rooting for you guys, and I like having conversations with you about baseball. All right, so yesterday we went three and two on our plays, plus 2.61 units. Not bad at all. How about the Braves comeback last night? Ninth inning, they scored five runs to take the lead. That was clutch. Um, we also had the Miami Marlins. That was a no-doubter. They won 9-3. to three. It was, Never had to worry about that game. All right, so um, Orioles, they got spanked. And let's see. We also, well, the Red Sox won. And then San Francisco. They're still anemic over there in the Bay. So not sure what's going on with san francisco but all right so we have uh let's look at how many or what our record is for the season thus far so including spring training we are at 127 wins 91 losses plus 36.6 units for the season now our unit is 100 dollars, so we're up three thousand six hundred and sixty dollars on the season it's pretty good considering it's not even may yet so that's freaking awesome all right so let's continue to try to take money from the book we got a handful of plays that actually have four plays for you guys today um we're gonna start off with mlb system one we got the washington nationals taking on the miami marlins marlins are at home we got strasburg versus richards now strasburg has pitched pretty well this so far this season and so is richards richards has three quality starts but doesn't have the record to show anything for it. He has a nasty changeup. He throws about 36% of the time. Now, in Strasburg, he's been prone to give up that the long ball this year. Um, <clears throat> so look out for that. There's some value here in this line of plus 155. Now, I mean, the Marlins have won the last two in a row. So do we really think they're going to win three in a row? Maybe. This is a long-term value play, just like every single one of my plays are. Um, so there is... In my opinion, the line is wrong in this game. Um, I think the Marlins should be favored by less, so they're giving us a better price. So give me the Marlins, plus 155 versus the Nationals. Next up, we got the Red Sox taking on Tampa Bay Rays. So you got David Price taking on Glass now. Glass now, he's a killer. He's been he's red hot to start the season, but David Price is probably the most consistent, which is kind of – not really saying much, but he's the most consistent Red Sox, Red Sox starter thus far. Um, I feel like it's a mistake to give the Red Sox plus 105. I know it's almost even money there, but you know the Red Sox have just reeled off a couple wins. They're the reigning world champions. They Their bats are starting to wake up. They scored like five runs and what was it in the third or fourth? I don't know, it was one of the early innings, and then they only were able to muster one more run after that, but the bats are starting to figure it out. Um, yeah, so I think there's some value there. So give me the Red Sox. Dave, give me David Price plus 105 over the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, now we're going to move over to the under system. I have two under plays for you guys. We got the Mets taking on St. Louis. We got Thor versus Hudson. And basically it's simple. Uh, it's under eight and a half. Now, uh, let's see here. Under eight and a half at five dimes, you can find 100 equals 100. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at there. Let's see. Oh, one of the things I do want to say about this game is I believe this line is going to dip up for to probably nine. If you want to wait on it and just see if it does, because anytime you start getting even money on a total play, it typically means that they're going to bump the line up here in a minute. So um, <clears throat> so under 8.5, 100 equals $100, so it's even money. But I'm going to go ahead and lock it in because i got a long day ahead of me and I won't be able to check the lines. But 
you have a little, you probably have a little more time to just check it out. So it probably will bump up to nine if you just be patient. All right, and the last play I have for you guys is the Astros taking on the Rangers. We're going to go under the posted total of 11. Um, I found that at five times. 100 wins, $91. It's a minus 110 play. Now, at Bet Online, they have they actually have the line at plus 105, but you have to give up the half point. So if you want to take the 11, you have to go minus 110. If you want to take the one or the 10 and a half, I mean, it's a pretty good price of plus 105. So you make the decision there. I'll let you make that decision. I don't see this line going any higher. It started off at 10 and a half. It's bumped up to 11 at most sites. So, you know, it's up to you. You can still get it at 10 and a half at Bet Online as a as the filming of this video. So that'll do it for today. I got four plays for you guys. I know, like, that's not a lot of plays considering we just had 10 the other day. But, hey, I just go by what, where I feel like we have the biggest advantages, right? So win or lose, it doesn't matter. We, we could go 0 and 4 today, and I wouldn't be upset because these all these plays are long term winning plays. So, um, and that's how you have to kind of look at this thing because nobody goes 90 percent if we go anywhere between 55 and 60 percent, we're gravy. And actually, we could probably even go a lower percentage because the majority of the games we take are underdogs, so you could probably even hit 44. So 50% and still make a lot of money. Actually, that's exactly how you can do it in baseball. All right, guys. So that'll do it for today. I got one more day of volleyball here. We crushed it yesterday. My daughter went 3-0 last night. We're going to try to qualify for nationals today. So good luck to everybody here. And good luck to you. Good luck to me. And good luck to all of us. And I'll see you guys at Whataburger. Peace.